This is Adventist News Network, a service of the Seventh-day Adventist World Church. Thanks so much for joining us this week. First in the news, an American pastor is imprisoned for defying a court's ruling in a trademark infringement dispute. Walter McGill was apprehended last week after surrendering to federal authorities in Southern California. Hello, I am the American pastor referred to in the Adventist News Network clip. I would like to add that I was arrested on the grounds of the Loma Linda University Seventh-day Adventist Church on July 13th, just before the beginning of Sabbath. The Adventist Church sued McGill after he used Seventh-day Adventist in his church's name, the Creation Seventh-day Adventist Church in Guys, Tennessee. I would like to add one bit of pertinent information. We began using the name Creation Seventh-day Adventist Church in 1991. The Seventh-day Adventist Church did not sue us for trademark infringement until the year 2006. Some of us are amused at how long they allowed us to use the name that they seem to be needing to protect so many years without any objection. Although the church won the case, McGill refused to stop using the name. The Seventh-day Adventist Church's name is a registered trademark and can legally apply only to official churches, congregations, and denominational ministries. I would like to point out that in this news clip, they failed to tell the reason why we were using the name Creation Seventh-day Adventist Church. That name was given to us by divine revelation. It was given to us as a mandate from God Himself. And so we have merely been obeying God's instructions to us. But what this boils down to is the will of God versus the will of man. The Seventh-day Adventist Church has a right to a unique name, a name that only applies to itself. The facts will show that the name Seventh-day Adventist existed before there was ever a general conference legal entity. The name Seventh-day Adventist predates the official Seventh-day Adventist Church. Consequently, the name Seventh-day Adventist is the name of a religion. It is the name given to a body of believers who practice the Seventh-day Adventist faith. But I am not arguing that we are Seventh-day Adventists per se. We are creation Seventh-day Adventists. We have taken another name and that name was given to us by God Himself. And what Walter McGill was attempting to do was take something that wasn't his, somebody else's name, and confuse the public about what is and is not the Seventh-day Adventist Church. By defending ourselves in court, the Adventist Church is able to keep that unique identity so when people see the name Seventh-day Adventist, they know what it refers to. I have a couple of objections to Mr. McFarland's statements. First he says that the Seventh-day Adventist Church was defending themselves in court. They were the plaintiffs, they were not the defendants. They sued me individually and they were doing this under the guise of protecting their good name. They accused me of defrauding them when I have never passed an offertory in a church service in 20 years. They accused me of cyber pirating. They accused me of confusing the public and deluding their 
famous trademark. These accusations have been proven in the courts of law to be false. It is true that I have lost the trademark case because of some technicalities which I will not go into at this point but for anyone who would like to know the truth of it you may email me at pastor underscore csda at yahoo.com and I would be happy to dialogue with you the second part of Mr. McFarland's statement that is a little bit misleading is that I purposely took something that was not mine or the implication is I was stealing. I've said before I have taken only that which God has given me by divine revelation. Let me update this news clip with saying I served 30 days incarcerated in San Bernardino, California at the Central Detention Center. I fasted for those 30 days and I extended the fast 10 more days to complete 40 full days of fasting. I'm of course released and I'm healthy and doing very well. I'm very thankful for all who had concerns and all who prayed for my protection and release. Thank you and good day.